Good morning. Happy Saturday. It is the 14th of September. Um, it is a rainy, grumbly day outside, but we're going to look at the positive. I'm going to help you today. Direct your energy, find out what you need to focus on, and have a glorious day. Um, so let's get started. Um, grab your tea. I got Rubio's this morning. Always good for you. Always a good way to, to start your day. We're going to pull from the River Witch Oracle. Um, the River Witch Oracle is a deck that I created. It focuses on the energy and the magic of the uh, rural south. So here's our card. Pull that up for you. There we go. Our card for today is the Sweet Potato card. It has three key words that are nourish, ground, and versatile. So let's think about the energy of this card for today. Nourish, right? What does nourish mean? Nourish means that you are either nourishing yourself, feeding, taking care of, self-care, self-preservation, or you're nourishing someone else, teaching, guiding, learning. So what you need to do today is look within yourself and see where this word fits in. What are you striving to do today? It's Saturday. Some folks that have a Monday through Friday job may be taking time off today. They may be looking at ways to relax, to, you know, take a step back from the daily grind. For those people who have work over the weekends, nourish may be they're nourishing other people. Are they feeding them, like literally? Um, are they feeding their minds, their souls, or their spirit? So that's what you want to look out for that first word. Your next word is ground. Ground has two, really two meanings when you think about it. It can mean the literal ground, where you put your feet. You know, do you need to go outside and step in the grass today? You know, it never hurts to do that. It's scientifically proven that you should go outside and walk barefoot. Um, and that's from a holistic wellness perspective. I mean, that's completely scientifically proven. Um, and then the next way you look at ground is grounding your spirit, right? Bringing yourself back to center. Inhale, exhale. Find a way to bring yourself back to that point, that midline that helps you maintain balance and temperance in your life. Our next word is versatile. Versatile means to change, right? Or it means to have the ability to change. We want to think about how things are going in our life. We want to think about what's happening right now. Does everything seem to be like it's just crap? Right? Is it like everything going wrong? Oh my God. Stop. Right? Don't speak those things out loud. Don't will that. Don't don't manifest that negativity. Right? Look at versatility. Look at ways to see what's wrong. Stop. Pivot. Change directions and move on, right? Think about every point guard for those basketball folks out there. I know if you're local to North Carolina, you watch basketball. Um, think about that great point guard that you have in your mind, right? For me, it's like Jeff Lebo, right? I know I'm dating myself, right? UNC uh, point guard. The ability to turn a game around, to change the momentum from going down to going up, that's what you need to do today. So I hope that's been helpful. Again, our card is the Sweet Potato card from the River Witch Oracle. If you have questions or comments, you can certainly leave them in the chat. I'd love to hear from you. Um, if there's anything going on uh, this weekend, like certainly, uh, certainly, I can't get into my watch. <laughs> there we go. That was hilarious. All right. Um, but if you have things going on in your life that are really going out of control, take a moment, reconnect with the energy of this card, and you'll have a better day. Um, if you have questions or comments, please leave them in the chat. And uh, remember to check out the uh, vlog yesterday on the third of the five virtues of Hecate. We talked about temperance. Um, and yeah, get outside. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon.